Welcome to Heredity 4, multiple alleles uh, with some dominant recessive and uh, incomplete dominance slash codominance thrown in. I'll explain that later. All right, now first of all, you want to look at the right side over here at this box. This is not a Punnett square. This is not a parent on one axis with a parent on the other axis. On the x-axis, it's just all of the possible alleles. There's three different alleles here. So multiple really means more than two. Um, and in our ABO blood groups, we have three, right? We've got the, th the alleles are listed here. We've got IA, again, compound alleles, IB, and little i, or little i o. I always write little i o because it tells you that there's a, that's for the O blood type. So the I superscript A codes for having this so-called A car class carbohydrate on your red blood cells. And IB codes for the B class carbohydrate on your red blood cells. And these act kind of like identifiers for your immune system. Uh, if you are type A blood, you're going to have those A class molecules on your blood cells. And your immune system is going to know that. So when they see these molecules, these blood cells, they uh, are going to uh, to say, okay, those guys are good to go. If, if B blood gets in there somehow, they're going to say, that looks different. We're going to get them. Okay. Now, O codes for nothing. So I want you to remember that when you're talking about donor-recipient relationships, if someone is a donor with O blood, Nobody's going to react adversely to that because O is nothing. You're not recognizing something different. So it can only be something there that's different. So if I'm, I'm personally O blood type, uh, if anybody tries to give me A blood or B blood, I'm going to react adversely because A and B are both things I don't have. If I donate to them, nothing, which is what's on, on my blood, nothing is not a thing they don't have. That sounds pretty weird, doesn't it? Anyway, you don't respond to a negative. Okay, so this diagram over here on the right simply represents a com all the different combinations possible. So IA and IA result in a IA, IA offspring. Let's pick one randomly over here. Let's go with B and I. Teleport over, little I I should say. That results in a I, B, I, O or whatever. I, I'll, I'll generally say O just because I'm used to it. Uh, Blood type. Now, so here, this one right here, let's look at this. It's easy to predict what type of blood IA, IA is going to be. IA, IA, well, it's going to be A blood type, right? And that's what's written right here. This thing shows you the phenotype. Phenotype, type A blood, genotype, IA, IA. But if I give you an IB and an IO, IB, IO, why is it B blood type, not B O blood type? Because uh, I A and I B are codominants. They they are kind of incompletely dominant to one another. We're not going to get into the differences between incomplete dominance and codominance. It's really a matter of uh, it's a subjective matter. But uh, both A I A and I B are dominant to I O. So if you've got a B and an O or an I O. Well, the B is the dominant one that gets expressed. So you can see how you can get all of your different blood types. Now, the positive and minus or negative, like RH positive, RH negative, are different gene altogether. Uh, we're not going to get into them here. Uh, in lecture class, you may, but that's going to result, that's going to involve another, a larger uh, genetic problem, unless you look at it by itself. So let's go to an example here. Uh, mm. So we'll go to our own little chalkboard here. Let's cross an, a person with AB blood. So going back here, we know what AB blood is, right? Right there. Whoops. Oh, snap. I'll never get that back. Remind me not to touch the screen like that. Uh, so AB blood is, right, is I, A, I, B. And we're going to cross that individual with, or that individual is going to uh, produce offspring with that person with A blood. So they're a type A blood heterozygote. Well, what is it? Why do I have to say that? Type A blood. So if you're type A, you know you can be uh, your IA, right? And IA is also that's that's type A blood. But so is 
I A I O. Heterozygote. So type A heterozygote is I A little I O. Let's do the Punnett square, just your standard Punnett square here. Make it a little bit longer so I can fit everything in. And we'll put the uh, one parent on this side and the other parent on this side. And here we cross them. I, A, I, A, I, A, I, O, I, A, I, B, I, B, I, O. So what are our what is our genotypic ratio, the expected genotypic ratio? Well, it's one of these to one of these. All four of these genotypes are different, right? So one to one to one to one, I, A, I, A, I, A, I, B, I, A, I, O, I, B, I, O. Phenotypic ratio, what is it? Take a look at it. How many phenotypes are there? Phenotypes are the expressed trait. Well, we've got two A phenotypes. Two people with A blood. We've got one AB and one B. And so you'd say 2A, 1B, 1O. That would be your expected phenotypic ratio. Let me give you a thought problem here now, just like the last time. So let's just say little um, Susie, these aren't sexually related uh, sex linked. Uh, genes, but we'll say little Susie this time. Little Susie has type O blood. So she's type O. Well, what does that make her? That's her phenotype. What does that make her genotype? Well, it has to be IO. Oops. IO. I can't write. There it is. It has to be that. She has a B in there anywhere. She's B. She got an A and a B, she's AB. So Susie's type O. Let's say that Susie's mom is type A and Susie's dad is type B. Are they, can they be her real parents? So mom, mom is type A, dad type B. Is it possible that they're her real parents? We're not saying for sure if they are, but is it possible? Well, think about it. Mom can be either IA, IA, or IA, IO. Dad can be either IB, IB, or I, oops, B. I O and if they both happen to be like this you could get little Susie right you just got to go I A I O I B I O and down here in the right corner is the genotype that matches little Susie's. Funny story, I taught in the army and uh, may have told you the story on a video, but uh, I was teaching these army personnel genetics and uh, they all know their blood type. And so I was giving this lecture and one guy in the back said, well, I'm type uh, B, my m mom is type AB and my dad is type uh, A. All right, well, no, shoot that. I got to tell the story right. I'm type B. My mom is type O, and my dad is type A. And I said, no, he isn't. And he goes, yeah, he is. And I go, well, if that guy's type B, that's not your dad. And the guy, like, turns white as a sheet. And then he came back the next class and goes, I called home and talked to him, and I was wrong. He was a uh, type A, so... I was good to go. All right, well, that's all I got. Uh, eat your vitamins and uh, watch the videos and look at the photos.